This winter storm is absolutely wreaking havoc on the roads, as Jen just mentioned. VDOT crews have been very busy operating around the clock. More than 1,500 crew members with more than 1,400 pieces of equipment are out trying to keep the roads safe for you. However, if you don't have to be out there, officials encourage you to stay home. Our Maria Elena Valores has been out in Virginia Beach since early this morning. Maria Elena, you were almost blown away the last time we talked to you. How are conditions now? You know, Katie Lex, the wind, it picks up, it goes, it, it never really leaves, but sometimes those gusts really move through, and honestly, it's hard to stand, it's hard to keep the camera steady because that wind is just that strong. And the other thing that's going along with that wind is it's moving all of the snow. So we're seeing different amounts of snow in different parts of the sidewalks and the roads out here. It's also creating some visibility problems. Some of the buildings are hard to see, and if you look down Virginia or Independence to Virginia Beach Boulevard, you can barely see that intersection if it's not for the traffic lights. The other thing that we've been talking about, um, those power Power outages. We know at last check about 23,000 people are without power in Virginia Beach. We're on Commerce Street by the West End here. We've actually seen these street lights go off and come on a couple of times, at least two times this morning. So power has kind of gone in and out. And of course, we're monitoring that with Dominion. I know you guys talked to them earlier this morning, but right now the wind isn't too bad. I'm not being blown over or anything like that, but visibility still not great out here. If you can stay home, definitely recommend that you do so. We will be out here in Town Center all morning, keeping an eye. Here comes that wind on the wind, on the snow, on the conditions, and we will definitely keep you posted. Live for now in Virginia Beach, I'm Maria Elena Boloris, 10 on your side. And we are also giving you a live look from the snowy streets. Photojournalist Walter Hildebrand is braving the roads to show you what is happening. Right now, he is along High Street in Portsmouth, driving very carefully. And again, we do have special permission to be on the roads. And as you can see, the roads are not great. So if you don't absolutely need to drive, please stay off those roads. 535, you're taking a live look outside from Tower Cam 10 over downtown Portsmouth. You can hardly see it. That's how hard that snow is falling. 544, we're staying on top of this major winter storm moving across our region. Wavy crews have been monitoring conditions throughout the night. Our Rico Bush is in Hampton. Kara Dixon is in Norfolk. First, let's check in on the peninsula. Rico, what do things look like where you are? Uh, well, Katie, Lex, the wind has really been a major issue this morning. That is the story of this morning, as that wind has really been whipping uh, the snow all across this area in all directions here. But just a moment ago, we actually seen someone get stuck in the snow, and that is why we keep telling people to stay off the roads. Uh, they were able to get the car out of the snow and uh, get it into the uh, gas station here. Uh, but again, it goes to show you exactly how bad these roads here. I'm just off of Mercury Boulevard on uh, near I-64 here. You won't see a lot of cars here, but cars are out. We also have seen a lot of snow plow trucks come throughout this area, really trying to clear those roads here for drivers. Again, the road conditions are pretty bad. If you are out, just really uh, be safe here. My colleague Kara Dixon right now is on the south side. She is watching uh, the road and weather conditions there. And Kara, tell us what you're seeing in Norfolk. Yeah, Rico, I'm here downtown in Norfolk in the Waterside District. Now, right now, the roads don't look too bad down here, but, you know, it's very deceptive because there's ice underneath all this snow. Now, it's very windy down here as well, and that's causing problems. I know that there's um, more than 2,100 people in Norfolk without power right now. Now, Dominion wants you to report those power outages to them so they can come out and fix those as quick as possible. Now, like I said, that wind is causing a problem down here. Now, I have this uh, measuring tape right here to see how deep the snow is. Now let's look at here right now to see how deep that is. Uh, it's about two f inches right here uh, in downtown Norfolk and Waterside District. Now we are driving around earlier and this seems to be the area that has the least amount of snowfall. Now we've seen huge drifts in other parts of downtown Norfolk and we are getting stuck a lot in our own truck just trying to drive through the area. So we want you all to be safe. Make sure you stay at home. If you can stay at home, I know some of you probably do have to go to work today, but if you don't need to be on the roads, please stay off of them. Stay home, stay safe and stay dry. We'll be out here all morning reporting for you and we'll have a We'll be out here and making sure that we keep an eye on these conditions. Reporting live in Norfolk, Kara Dixon, 10 on your side.